Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a logo reveal like this one. So to get started I've already imported a picture of my logo and right now I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna call it main and the duration is gonna be 5 seconds. So right now I'm gonna grab the picture of my logo and I'm gonna drop it down into the composition and then I'm gonna press S and I'm gonna change the scale of the logo. After you're done with this, you need to pre-compose the logo by right clicking on it and then clicking on pre-compose and I'm gonna call this pre-comp logo. Right now we need to move the playhead to somewhere around maybe 1 second and 15 frames and right now we're gonna press Control shift d to split this layer like that and right now we're simply gonna press page up one, two, three, four, five times and then we're gonna select the second layer and we're gonna press alt and left bracket so right now they're overlapping. The next step is gonna be going into the effects and presets panel and searching for an effect which is called CC ball action. We're gonna apply this to the first part of the pre-comp and right now we're going to change some settings right here. So we're going to set the grid spacing all the way down to 2 and the ball size to 50. So this is how it looks right now. Um, the next step is going to be setting the twist property to random. This is what twist is doing. We're going to be animating that in a second. And right now we're gonna create a keyframe, but first we're gonna move the playhead to the beginning and we're gonna create a scatter keyframe and the twist angle keyframe. We're gonna set the twist angle to one complete rotation at this keyframe and we're gonna set the scatter to 250. So right now we have a complete mess. Now I'm just going to press U so that I can see the two keyframes and then I'm gonna move the playhead to the end of this layer and I'm gonna set this value back to zero and the twist angle also back to zero. So this is what we've made so far. Now the next step is gonna be animating the opacity. So I'm gonna press T which is gonna show me the opacity and right here maybe at the tenth frame I'm gonna set an opacity keyframe to zero. Then I'm gonna press shift and page down and I'm gonna set it to 100 and then right here we need to animate the opacity of both of these layers so I'm gonna press the for the second one and first I'm gonna set the opacity of the second layer to zero. Then I'm gonna create a keyframe and right now we want these particles to disappear as the logo appears. So I'm gonna move the playhead five frames further and I'm gonna set it to 100. So right now this is going to fade in. But we also want the particles to fade out so we need to animate them. We need to set an opacity keyframe right there and then we need to change the value to zero. So this is how it's looking so far and we want to adjust the timing. I want them to be a bit more in when this is fading out so I'm gonna press U and then we're gonna need to adjust these two keyframes. So we want it to be something like this. The next step is gonna be animating the scale of the second logo. So with the layer selected, press S and then create the scale keyframe. Now I'm gonna press shift and page down and I'm gonna increase the scale to 125%. Just a slight increase and now I'm gonna hit F9 to ease ease these keyframes and we're gonna play with the velocity a little bit so that it kicks off a bit faster and then this is how it looks. So as you can see, We've made the particles and we made the transition from the particles into the logo. But we're missing some motion blur. And if we were to enable it like this, you can see that it's not working. That's because the layer itself isn't moving 
but the effect right here is creating the motion. So that's why we're gonna need to use an effect which is called force motion blur. We're gonna apply it underneath of ball action and then we only need to make slight adjustments. So I'm gonna set the number of motion blur samples to 12 and I'm gonna set the shutter angle to 200. So right now if I preview this you can see what we've made. So depending on the color of the particles and of your logo, you can add the background. I'm simply going to create a new white solid, which is going to be used as the background. And I'm going to place it underneath of these two layers. You can use any footage you like. So from now on, you can do whatever you like with this. So that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.